Hi, this is Chuck with Nerd3D. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to set up and use depth of field in Poser. Now, what is depth of field? That's when a near or far object is out of focus while the subject of the scene is in focus. And we have controls in Poser to set that up. The first thing you're going to need to use is the focus distance dial on the parameters palette for whatever camera you're setting up. Each camera has its own individual focus distance. When you spin the focus distance dial, a black target is going to appear in your screen. And as you dial the dial in and out, that target is going to move to represent where the focal plane is. The second control we're going to need to look at is the f-stop. Now, if you're familiar with real photography, film photography, you'll know what an f-stop is and how it affects focus distance. If you're not familiar with that, let's just say it's going to be the fuzziness of the picture, and it works backwards. The lower the number, the more out of focus the image is going to be, and the narrower the area, the depth of field that's in focus is going to be. Let's use the default value of 2.8. Now there's another setting that we need before we can get an actual render with depth of field in it. We need to go into the render settings and put a check mark on the depth of field option. Superfly and Firefly have separate depth of field controls. Depending on which render engine you use, you need to have it checked. They are independent controls. We're going to do it in Superfly. As you can see in this render, the second cylinder is sharp, and the first and third cylinders are just a little bit out of focus, the fourth even more, and the distant cylinder is quite blurred. If we want to make it so that our f attention is highly focused on the, the second cylinder, we can decrease the depth of field and make the other cylinders more blurry. And to do that, we're going to turn down the f-stop. Let's set it to 1 and see how that looks. As you can see now, as this render progresses, that only the green cylinder is sharp. And in fact, even the edges of it at the bottom, which are a little further away from the camera lens, they begin to be a little bit out of focus and soft. And the distant objects, like the red cylinder in the background, have almost completely disappeared. Now the reverse is true. If we want to have a slight effect of depth of field and not be so drastic about it, we might want to set the f-stop to 5. In this case, your foreground cylinders, all four of them, are more or less in focus. They're a little bit soft, but you can tell what they are. And even the background cylinder, as far away as it is, still re retains its shape and you can tell that it's supposed to be a cylinder. When you're setting up your depth of field, sometimes you'll want to keep the depth gizmo displayed all the time so you can tell where your focus point is. If you want to leave it on all the time, go into Display under Guides, Focus Distance Guide, and check that on. The focus distance will stay on all the time, so you can always see where the center of your focus is. The focus guide will not render in a production render, so it's not going to show. It'll only be there when you're previewing the scene. Also, when you're setting up your render settings for a depth of field render, keep in mind that the soft areas may look grainy, and you will have to increase your pixel samples to overcome that graininess. This should help you get set up using depth of field in Poser. Thanks for watching and have fun using Poser.